the judge on sentencing dates back to actually 2019. So while it's fairly new, it's not one of the, the newest changes of the NDA, although there are going to be some changes to it once it's signed into law. But the bottom line is now, it, currently and going into the future, you can be sentenced by a military judge uh, or, a, or a member. Now, again, there's going to be changes once the new NDAA is signed into effect. And we don't exactly know what those changes are going to look like because, of course, it hasn't been signed into effect. But what I can say is that even if you are, well, previously, if you were tried by a jury or a panel, and that's a panel consisting of all officers of, or officers and enlisted members, and you were convicted, you would be sentenced by those panel members. And that's a really unique phenomenon that we don't have in, really in most civilian courts because and panel members really don't know how to sentence because if you are a civilian, you don't do this for a living, you get called in to serve as a juror. You really don't know how to sentence. And so what we'd see is these insane sentences where you, sometimes you'd have incredibly light sentences because jurors don't want to be the ones. It's very difficult to send someone to prison. And so oftentimes you have these very light sentences. And on the other side of it, you can have these incredibly harsh sentences because, again, these jurors really don't know what a case is, quote, worth. And so you can have two, uh, two cases with really similar facts receive vastly different sentences in when you have sentencing by members. And you see that in co-accused cases where you have two Marines or two service members who are accused of the same offense. They're, they're, maybe they're co-accused, but their trials are severed. They're both convicted. Maybe one gets 18 months, another one gets 18 years. And that can actually happen. But now with judge alone sentencing, you can now, at least currently as we're filming this, you can opt into judge alone sentencing, which is really unique. So you can choose at arraignment whether you want to have your, you can have the, the case heard by members, and if you're convicted, you'll be sentenced by a military judge. And now it becomes a really strategic decision we have to make. And so now it's, do we know anything about this particular judge? Is, is this judge the proverbial hammer? Is he a more lenient judge? What type of offenses are these? If these are offenses that, you know, certain offenses, I'd rather be sentenced by a military judge who understands what a case is worth and may not be doing it something so emotional. Um, Another case, I'd rather be sentenced by members who may give you a very light sentence. So one of the strategic decisions we have to make now is not only do we want our clients to be tried by a jury composed of officers and enlisted or officers or military judge alone, but if there is a conviction, do we want the sentencing by that same panel or by the jury or by the military judge? And that's the way it is currently. And again, there's changes that are going to be made to this once the 2022 NDAA is signed into effect, but that's it's hard to give a concise answer now because that is changing. And until that's actually signed and implemented, we're not going to know exactly what that looks like.